Let's talk about a traffic stop that ended in a hail of bullets. This morning, one deputy is recovering at the hospital, and the search continues for that suspect. CPS 2's Joy Benedict is live in Bobet and Olive, where that shooting happened. Joy, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. Yeah, certainly a very terrifying situation, obviously, for that sheriff's deputy and everybody who lives in this neighborhood who heard that gunfire. But we are live this morning, as you mentioned, here on Olive Street. You can see over there in the street what's left of the asphalt that was damaged after that cruiser caught fire. But of course, it is the sound of this shooting that still resonates in this community. <laughs> That certainly was a barrage of bullets, to say the least, as that sound was caught by security video here nearby. It happened just after 4 o'clock yesterday. That's when we're told a central station deputy started making a traffic stop. Investigators say almost immediately after deputies attempted to pull over that vehicle, the shots fired call came in over the radio. Officers who responded found the deputy down. They started first aid and applied a tourniquet. Now, the sheriff's deputy's vehicle also caught fire, likely from all of that gunfire. But the good news is the injured deputy appears to be okay. Superficial injuries to his face. We don't know how or how those facial injuries occurred. And then some type of shrapnel in his arm. I visited with the deputy myself. The deputy is in good spirits. He's coherent and talking and surrounded by his family. Now, a few hours later, this was yet another scene about three miles from this location. That's where the San Bernardino Police Department, who is investigating this shooting, located a car, a white BMW, that they say belonged to the suspect. Again, it was about three miles away from the shooting location, parked at an apartment complex near the Del Rosa exit of the 210 freeway. You can also see members of the SWAT team entering an apartment nearby, but it's not clear whether anyone was arrested at that location. As last we were told, the shooter is still on the loose. Now, DeMarco, back out here live again. We've been talking about the deputy. Um, the good news is we are told he is recovering at a local hospital this morning and again is expected to be okay. Enjoy. That was a lot of gunfire there. Do we know if the deputy was able to shoot back at the suspect? You know, we don't know the answer to that yet. Certainly, though, a lot of gunfire heard on that tape. It's not even clear if there is one suspect shooting, two suspects shooting, or whether that deputy was able to get off any shots that we heard there in that gunfire. All of that does remain under investigation. Again, a different department. The San Bernardino Police Department is the one investigating that shooting. They were out here until just a few hours ago, so hopefully we'll get an update here in the next couple of hours this morning and figure out a little bit more about what they learned. Joy Benedict, live in San Bernardino. Joy, thank you for that report.